If you're looking for cheap and instant Madden Ultimate Team coins, head on over to MuttCoinBank.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off. And if you're looking for packs actually worth opening, check out MaddenMascot.com and use code RBT for 10% off. Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another video today. And as you know, it's been very heavily rumored that Marshawn Lynch will be making his return to the NFL, but not with the Seattle Seahawks, but with the Oakland Raiders, or should I say the Los Angeles Raiders. I'm sorry Raiders fans, that actually, that, that's weird to say, but that's gotta suck. But for now, it's the Oakland Raiders, and it's gonna be crazy to see Marshawn Lynch at the age, he'll be 31 next season, coming back to the NFL with a team that's not the Seahawks, the freaking Raiders. But the question is, how good will he actually make the Raiders? And will the Raiders actually be a Super Bowl contender with Marshawn Lynch? And that's actually what we're going to be testing out today and seeing how much better Marshawn Lynch will make the Raiders. Now, it's not a done deal that he's going to be coming back to the NFL. It's more than likely that he's going to be signing with the Raiders last week. It was reported that it was like almost like concrete, a done deal. He's going to have to agree to terms with the Raiders before the Seahawks can actually trade him to the Raiders. But I would have to say probably 90% sure he's going to sign with the Raiders, but it's not a for sure thing. But who knows what can happen from here, but we're going to pretend that it's a done deal. So as you see right here, we have put Marshawn Lynch into Madden 17. And we're using his stats from the last Madden that he was in. So obviously he's probably going to be a little bit rusty coming to the NFL. But we're going to give him his last Madden ratings. And this is the most updated roster on Madden 17. So all the transactions have been made. So there are a couple new players onto the Raiders for next season. You have Cordell Patterson. You have Jared Cook who's going to be, I think, incredible. With That's going to be a really good tight end combination with Jared Cook and Clive Walford. What we're going to do is play the first game of the season against the New Orleans Saints. And see how Marshawn Lynch does in his Oakland Raider debut. And then sim the rest of the season and see how far the Raiders actually make it. Before we get into that, though, I do want to show you his stats and everything just in case you guys are curious. I did a video like this surrounding Marshawn Lynch around December. So it's like the same ratings, but I'm still going to go over them once again. As you see, they also signed EJ Manuel as their backup quarterback to back up Derek Carr. And now at running back, there's the main man, Marshawn Lynch. They did lose Latavius Murray in the offseason, so this is... You know, pretty big need, the running back position. Do you think Jalen Richards, you know, is good enough to be the number one running back for the Raiders? I think Marshawn Lynch would definitely be a nice sign. There's still some great running backs out there like AP, but I think Marshawn Lynch would be a nice fit. He's going to stay on that West Coast. I think he's in from the Oakland area, so it makes sense for him if he does want to return to the NFL. Nice fit for him. Now, if he really was to sign with the Raiders and be in Madden 18, he's probably going to get a pretty substantial downgrade, probably down to, I would say, maybe an 85 overall, but we're going to keep him with his previous Madden ratings. He is 31 years old. He's 30 right now. He actually turns 31 in five days, but if he does sign with the Raiders next season, he will be 31. But crazy enough, for some reason on Madden, they don't let you, like, edit the players, like, their uh, arm size and stuff like that, like they used to. Like, when you're creating a player, you used to be able to, like, edit the player in-game and make, like, their arms bigger, their legs bigger, stuff like that. So this is just a generic Marshawn Lynch. And he should be a little bit bigger in terms of muscularity, but I can't edit it for some reason. But as you see, same number, Whitney Cow have him as a power back, and he is 5'11", 219. I wanted to kind of bump him up a little bit to make him look bigger, but I'm going to keep him at his actual weight, which is 219, which is pretty big for a player that's 5'11". Now moving on to his ratings, which you guys are probably curious about. He has 97 awareness, which is pretty great for a running back. His speed isn't the greatest. He has 86 speed, 88 excel, which is decent. 87 agility, and this is where his stats start to get really good. 89 strength for a running back is incredible. 84 jumping is pretty freaking good. Now moving along, 94 carrying, a 98 ball carrier vision, 98 trucking, 91 elusiveness, 99 stiff arm. 87 juke move, or 87 spin move rather, and 94 juke move. Those stats right there make Marshawn Lynch absolutely incredible. Not the fastest, but he's going to run right over you in game. Now, his catching isn't the greatest, but he's also pretty valuable in terms of blocking. 70 pass blocking for running backs, pretty incredible. As 50 impact blocking is pretty good for running back as well. So last stats that you guys probably care about, injuries 94, 90 stamina, and 99 toughness, which is all the same as in the last Madden that he was in. With that said, guys, we are going to jump into a game to start off this video against the New Orleans Saints traveling to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Hopefully going to get that W and have a huge performance with Marshawn Lynch. And hopefully, guys, do enjoy today's video. And if you do, make sure to drop a like. If you hit 1,000 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely incredible. And if you guys have any other ideas like this, let me know in the comment section below. But with that said, let's jump into this game and see if Beast Mode actually goes beast mode. So we'll say in advance that we are going to be running the ball a lot more than I usually would with the running back in this because obviously we're trying to highlight Marshawn Lynch in this one. Let's see how he does in his first carry. 
as an Oakland Raider. If we can block. Got some nice blocks. Can we get to the outside? Can we break a tackle? We don't. But hey, a decent carry for his first carry as a Raider. Well, we actually only got two yards. So that kind of sucks. But let's make up for it right here. Let's pound the rock downhill with the main man, Beast Mode, and get his first first down as a Raider. And it looks like we can't block. Can we get the first down, though, to keep Beast Mode on the field? We have a slant pattern open. That's going to be Michael Crabtree with the first. Still waiting on the main man, Beast Mode, to break a big run. Got, like, three carries, two yards each so far. We need to run bigger than that. And here we go right here, Beast Mode to the outside. Can we break a tackle? And he stays up, but he goes out of bounds. But there we go, Beast Mode's first. Big carry as a Raider. Keeping it on the ground out of the eye formation. We got to run over this man. And Beast Mode makes him look like a freaking idiot, dude. Beast Mode down the sideline to the 12-yard line. This is more like it. So unfortunately, Marshawn Lynch came out for a breather on third down. But he's back in for fourth down. And we're going to go for it on fourth down and two. Marshawn Lynch got to be able to pick up two yards. Get to the outside. Stay up. Oh, that was a failure. I should have stayed inside. What a failure. I should have just took the field goal. You know, I'm more VT. I'm an idiot anyway. So I'm honestly trying my best to mix up the plays, but, like, the only plays that are working when it comes to running the football is running out of the eye formation. So I'm just going to keep it going. And we have some blocks, man. Get your... Why is that idiot not getting the one man to the outside? If you block him, Marshawn Lynch is freaking gone. I really hate it that I can't mix up the plays, but I'm trying my best. Here we go. Beast mode. Run over this man. He's running over guys like it's nothing. Beast mode down to the 50-yard line. I actually want to score, so I'm throwing the football here. I don't know who to throw it to, though. I really don't. B's open. B's wide open. He's going to make this catch. Michael Crabtree, get your blocks. This could be it, boys. This could be it. Marshawn Lynch doesn't break the final tackle, but does get knocked out of bounds at the 9-yard line. Nine yards away from taking the lead and getting Marshawn Lynch's first career touchdown with the Oakland Raiders. Well, unfortunately, Marshawn Lynch is not on the field on third down, but I want to try my best to score a touchdown, so... I'm going to try throwing the football, I guess. I wanted to score with Marshawn, though. Oh, God. Can we wait? Can we wait? Can we wait? X for split second. He's open. He makes a catch. There's a flag. Do not be holding. It's Madden, so it's going to be holding. Yep. 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 Can somebody get open, please? I'm going to throw it up to B. Come on, B. Make this catch. Crabtree. There's a flag. How many flags can a man get in a row? So apparently we scored a defensive touchdown. I've just been simming the defense, so that's good. Gives us some breathing room, but now we don't have some breathing room at the one-yard line. Don't get a safety at least. So the Saints just made it a little bit more interesting as they pulled the game within three. But we have beast mode. and just going to chew a little bit of clock and try to get his first rushing touchdown as a Raider. Can we block? We can't block, but he runs over people, but doesn't matter. Only gets a four-yard or three-yard rush. But he did just eclipse at 100 yards already. Going to try another screen pass to Marshawn Lynch. We have some blockers, man. Run over this poor soul. And he does. Another third down along. Another screen pass attempt to Marshawn Lynch. Let's see if he can break this one, though. We have the blockers. That was a strange throw. We, how do we not... How do two big linemen not block one linebacker? This game is nuts. So we do have the Saints with third down and goal from the five-yard line. A touchdown here, and we might lose this ball game. But if we get home to a field goal, we can still win this one. Oh, come on. Have these guys covered. Have them covered. We get pressure, and are going to force them to a field goal. We need one big carry from Marshawn Lynch to get us into field goal range. We need about 30 to 40 yards in two minutes with all of our timeouts. Can we get this block? Marshawn Lynch, come on. This could be it. Marshawn Lynch keeps on breaking tackles. I don't know if we have the speed. We do. We have the blockers, too. Marshawn Lynch into field goal range. Goes out of bounds at the 40-yard line. The third down and nine. Let's try to keep this drive going. Make this an easier field goal. RB's going to be open. Cordell Patterson's going to make the catch. Four more yards is all we need, Marshawn. Can we get it? And he doesn't. Should have probably took it outside. But that's 160 yards on the game for Marshawn. The field goal is up. And it's going to be good. And with three seconds remaining, we do take the lead over the Saints. And bearing anything absolutely crazy, which normally happens to me in videos, we should get the W and start off Marshawn Lynch's Raider career with a win. This should do it, boys. Three, two, one. We get the tackle. <laughs> it's got to end on a flag. But that does do it as Marshawn Lynch begins his Raider career with a win. Didn't score a touchdown, which is pretty unfortunate, but he still have a pretty big game. 31 attempts, 162 yards, which is good for 5.2 yards per carry. Had six broken tackles in this one. Had 77 yards after contact. So all that's left to do is start the simulation to the playoffs. And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below how you think the Raiders are going to do with Marshawn Lynch in this simulation and how you think they're going to do in real life. And also let me know how you think he's going to do in real life if he comes back to the Raiders. Is he going to be washed up and not have a good season? And should he just stay retired? Or do you think he's going to have a big season with the Raiders and maybe bring them to the Super Bowl? So the Raiders did make the wild card round. 
So that's a good thing. Looks like we had a pretty good season. And Marshawn Lynch is actually up to a 95 overall. So it's like he had a good season as well. And actually, we won our division. The Broncos went 4 and 12 of all teams. But now let's see how Marshawn Lynch did in terms of his stats for the year. We had the 14th best offense. So not the greatest, but not the worst. Derek Carr didn't have a great season, but good enough to make the playoffs and win our division. And Marshawn Lynch had an incredible season. Almost 1,600 yards and 12 touchdowns on the ground. Our backup had 10 touchdowns. Now let's see how he did it through the air. He had, looks like, 500 yards through the air as well and three touchdowns as the new signing for the Raiders, Cordero Patterson, had a pretty good season, eight touchdowns through the air as well. Let's see if Marshawn Lynch somehow came within the top 10 of the MVP race. And it looks like he actually didn't. Wow. But now, fellas, it is time to see if Marshawn Lynch can actually lead the Raiders to a Super Bowl victory. Not looking likely because I don't really trust Madden simulations, but let's sim the wildcard playoff versus the Chiefs and see if we can make it at least into the divisional round. And we do. We win the divisional round and are taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. We won 22 to nothing. Let's see if we can make it into the AFC championship game against probably the Patriots. The Jaguars are probably not going to beat them. And we lose. Gosh dang. And we lost by two touchdowns, so a pretty bad loss to the Steelers. And it wasn't necessarily a fault of Marshawn Lynch. Derek Carr had a pretty good game too. And Marshawn Lynch had 79 yards. So not the greatest game. And to end off the video, boys, I do want to go and see who actually won the Super Bowl. Is it the Seahawks? That would be crazy with the be a Marshawn Lynch. And what do you know? The Seattle Seahawks, without Marshawn Lynch, beat the Steelers by one, 35 to 34, to win the Super Bowl. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like. Like I said, if you have any other ideas like this, let me know in the comment section below. If we get a 1,000 likes in today's video, that would be absolutely incredible. But with that said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.